It's Beachcomber from the Legacy Evolution Evo Fusion Collection. Yes, I know he's been out for a little while, but I don't care because Beachcomber is one of my favorite characters. But this guy's not alone. I am putting him up against the power of the primes, Beachcomber. Yes, way back from 2018. So which is better? You get to decide and let me know in the comments. But let's go through these guys bit by bit and figure out if these are good for your collection. Be right back. All right, so we have the Power of the Primes and we have the Legacy Evolution, which we are gonna take out of his packaging. And it is nice packaging, but of course it is windowless. And in the packaging we have instructions, shitty piece of paper, the figure. And in the back here we have something. Is it something from the Golden Lagoon? It's probably a gun. It is indeed his weapon and a little tiny itty bitty Paradise Parakeet. Kind of hard to see, but he actually goes on Beachcomber's shoulder, which is nice. Hey, man, I like Parakeets. So let's get him out of his prison. Nice box, but we don't need it. And they had not switched back <laughs> to the plastic strip, so these are the paper ones. But if you get snippers, he is freed pretty quickly and falls over. All right, let's take a look at the robot mode of the Legacy Evolution version of Beachcomber. And we'll put him on the turntable of doom. Now, one thing I'm noticing right out of the package is he doesn't like to stand straight. But if you push his heels up, those little pipes, then he's in a much better position. All right, we got him framed well. There he is, Beachcomber. Take a look at him from all sides. He has a Autobot symbol on his chest. He looks pretty show accurate. Of course, the wheels on his shoulders, wheels on his side of his knees. Not too much kibble in the back, though. You can see some like engine and you can see the uh, pipe set, presumably are the cage for the dune buggy. But a cool looking figure, nice detailing on the chest, little uh, color, more on his stomach, but a very cool figure from all angles. All right, let's check out his posability. Full to toes up Jean-Claude Van Damme and actually balances pretty well in that position. He can kick forward pretty much 90 degrees. Kick back even a little bit higher. Of course, you can do a side kick and complete swivel. Now, he does also have ankle swivels, ankle tilts. So you can put him in a nice wide pose and have him very stable. So as long as you get those pipes up into his feet, you're good. Does he twist at the waist? He does. Felt a little stiff, but uh, can go all the way around. Arms can go all the way around. You can go off to the side, not fully 90 degrees, but pretty good amount. Bends at the elbow, he has a swivel. And his head can turn somewhat. It doesn't turn all the way. I would imagine it's because of, oh, let me push him up a little bit. He still doesn't turn all the way. He's got a square head. And when you're trying to turn it, it runs into bits of kibble on the back here. Still, he can at least turn a little bit so he can be in some dynamic poses. He does have a weapon, which fits nicely into his hand, though he doesn't like war. And you can put on one of his pipes a nice little paradise parakeet. Now this is supposed to be Evo Fusion. Got a little bit of detritus, actual detritus, not the character, off the end of his gun there. But it doesn't show anything it highlights the gun and says Evo Fusion, but there's nothing to attach it to. There's doesn't appear to flip out. It does have a side peg, so maybe you could attach it to other things. It's an interesting blaster. And uh, one thing I'm noticing with his blaster in there is you can actually turn the fists. So that's a nice little additional feature on this guy. Maybe with a side peg, you can also just put it on the side of his arm and he could use it almost like Decepticons do. Oh, if you really want, you can actually put his gun on his back for storage. The little engine ports. I mean, you could probably put it on the back of his arm, but that kind of interferes with movement. So it's a little sh more shallow. So it knocks off pretty easy, but if you put it in and then you can move his arms around and he's got a, a gun on his back. That's pretty much him in 
robot mode. So let's take a look at the power of the Primes, who does not look that different, but he is smaller. And we're gonna talk about that in a moment. So taking a look at him, very similar. He's got uh, pipes on his heels. He's got pipes on his back, which this one does too, but they're a little more subtle right over here, kind of hidden away. Now this guy did not come with a weapon, though his fists can hold a five millimeter gun. So, hey, can I borrow this? Thanks. So you can arm him with the Legacy version's weapon, and it even looks bigger and more intimidating. You cannot take the friggin' parakeet and put it on him. That is pretty much this guy's thing. But he looks good pretty much from all angles. Posability. Now this is, again, Power of the Primes 2018, so five-year-old technology, but he can still do a full toes up Jean-Claude Van Damme, and pretty stably as well. So that is nice to see. Does not have any ankle tilts. He's more of a core class, basic sized figure. So expecting that, no, I don't really. He can kick forward. Kicking back is a problem because of these pieces here, but he can kick out to the side, bend at the knee, and he does have rotation on the leg all the way around. Can he twist at the waist? He cannot. But again, core class, basic size, legend size, whatever you want to call them. They change terminology for this stuff all the time. His arm can go all the way around. He can bend at the elbow. He can swivel very nicely. And his head just fell apart. But I can push it back together. So there are two pegs in there that hold the head together. So when you're turning it, be careful. I may, because uh, it just came apart again, I may use a little bit of glue just to just a little dab, just to make sure that that doesn't happen again. I don't know if it's the age of the toy or just the design, but uh, not happy that his head came apart. So now he's not as stable standing as the Legacy, but he's still a cool figure. Side by side. Yes, you can have your weapon back, you warmonger. So as you can see, the Legacy has a bit of height on the Power of the Primes, but still they're very similar in design. It's hard to go too far away from this with Beachcomber. He's a dune buggy. Can't really change him all that much. But the blue is a bit um, darker, more royal on the Legacy. It's a little lighter, more sun bleached perhaps on the Power of the Primes. But they both have their headlights on their knees. They both have the wheels. Very similar looking. Just this little, he's squishy. Did I just kill a parakeet? <laughs> Now, the Legacy version is just a hair over four and a half inches tall, whereas the Combiner Wars one, is just a hair over three and a half inches tall. And just for giggles, there's the original. So he's like three inches tall. So there they all are in their robot modes. I'm not really counting him as part of the uh, verses, but he's a bonus guest star. All right, so let's check out Dune Buggies. So there is the Legacy in dune buggy mode. As you can see, he's a nice looking dune buggy. Blue, very clean. He's got uh, some silver detailing on the hood. No Autobot symbol, which is kind of makes him a dune buggy in disguise. He's got the nice headlights. He's got the rubber feeling wheels. And he looks pretty good from all angles. Just looking at him, you would not automatically assume that he is a transformer. Rolling wise, he actually rolls pretty well, which is nice. We'll race them later. But a very cool dune buggy. Holds together, it's got the engine in the back. And got the kind of graded metal on the sides for not slipping when you're getting in and out. Pretty cool. All right, power of the primes. Now, one thing I'll say, the transformation, very similar. So there is the power of the primes in his dune buggy mode. And again, very similar. He does have an Autobot symbol on his hood, which is very nice. Not so much of a disguise. The wheels feel very similar and rubbery. Headlights. He's got a little silver paint detailing on the engine in the back. Now, instead of having a gray, he's just got some like black colored areas when you're trying to climb in. But putting them side by side, you can see this one, the Legacy actually has seats, which is kind of important. The Power of the Primes does not, so. But still, they're very similar. You can see the difference in the color, but they're actually very close in how they transform. Obviously, a little bit more posability on the Legacy. 
or the Primes is about three and a half inches long, whereas the Legacy is about four. So not a huge difference. I mean, the lack of seats, the lack of ankle swivels, there are a few things. And the back of robot mode Legacy Beachcomber's legs are, don't look quite as hollow because he's got covers. But they're still very cool and just a little more size comparison. There's the original. Very small between both of them. Now you may have seen my uh, favorite Autobots video and Beachcomber is one of them. He was the first Transformer I actually bought. I did not start in 1984. I started in 1985 when the second wave came out and then I had to scramble to get a lot of the uh, wave one stuff. Eventually I managed, but it took work. So there you have them, a quick review. Now, a couple things with the Legacy Beachcomber is you can actually mount the weapon right on the front, which actually adds a little bit of a, a nice grill bumper to them. It's still kind of obvious it's a gun. You can also take it and apparently attach it to the cage, and you can use that. And he can give a ride to local wildlife, like a paradise parakeet. He's okay, I didn't kill him. Still a little squishy, but uh, he seems fine. He bounced back. So the addition of a weapon is nice. The darker blue color matches the G1 a little more closely than the Power of the Primes color does. Where's the rub sign? I kind of miss rub signs a little. There you have it, Beachcomber. And I'd like you to let me know in the comments which one you think is better or if you like them all. And I'll put in the description links so that you can get all these guys. And of course, I hope you're enjoying these as much as I enjoy making these videos. So, and I hope you stick around for more. While you're mulling over which is better, check out this video over here where I go over my five most favorite G1 Autobots. It was tough to come up with them. And we will see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.